This market is dying. That's what I thought when I started this video. But as I did some research, I found out that that isn't the whole story. We're talking about old media players, DVD VCR combos, VCRs specifically. And in this video, we're going to be taking information from Amazon using Keepa and eBay using Terapeak. I want to figure out if it's just my own personal anecdotal experience that yes, in 2017 and 18, I sold thousands and thousands of DVD VCR combos and VCRs, but last year, 2021, I sold a fraction of that. I have some graphs we're gonna go over, we're gonna talk about it, and through those, we're gonna see that yes, there are some changes that signal a downward trend, but also some changes that signal an upward trend if you're a certain type of seller. We'll also talk about long-term impacts uh, and what is causing them, so stick around. The first two graphs come from eBay using Terapeak, and it is a keyword analysis of DVD VCR combos. It is average unit price sold and number of units sold per day. This is only the last year, so unfortunately we can't go past that, but still I think a year is gonna be enough information to give us a relatively accurate assessment of what's going on. If you look at number of units sold, pretty straightforward, it is gradually increasing with a drastic drop off after Christmas, uh, one that does not match up with last January's number. So even though we sold more over the course of the year, I think that's more indicative of the Christmas Q4 rush than an overall increase in sales. And I would bet that next year on eBay, we're gonna see a lot less sales. Next, we see average sale price. And as you can see from the graph right here, average sale price of DVD VCR combos is gradually going down. So even though we have an increase in units sold, the price is still going down. What that means to me is that there is not an increase in demand for these, but a lot of people want to remove their supply before the year is over. Why would people want to do that, I wonder? Hmm. And it isn't just DVD VCR combos. Here's the keyword analysis for VCRs using Terapeak Info off of eBay. And you can see uh, a similar response where the price kind of goes down and there are a lot of people trying to remove inventory during Q4 near the end of the year. This could be a few things. It could be everyone's sick, it could be bad weather, but I think there is a scenario that more accurately represents what's going on. So as many of you know, there are some tax document changes coming into effect in 2022. A lot of people know about those. I think that this past year or two, this giant boon for what I've called hobbyist resellers, I think this is proof that that is coming to an end. So why do I believe this? Well, because of my own personal experience seeing a heck of a lot less DVD VCR combos and VCRs in thrift stores, along with this increase in supply and a decrease in price uh, consistent with a consistent demand. So well, again, what I think is happening, all these hobbyist or part-time resellers who were planning on flying beneath that $20,000 1099K limit, they wanted to liquidate before the year was over, and in 2022, they're gonna be finding new ways to make money, probably cash transaction, probably things that don't revolve around selling obsolete, uh, relatively low demand compared to things you can sell locally products. If I'm right, we're not seeing a significant decrease in demand from end consumers, we saw an increase in supply. That increase in supply was a signal that so many people, a large amount, a significant amount, and this is based on the idea that we're not seeing more sales pop back up in early January. I know it's early, but we're not seeing that. That is probably people who shut shop, who are moving off of eBay, off of Mercari, off of wherever they are gonna be served tax documents if they make more than $600. If you're in that boat and you're watching this, please, I would love to hear in the comments what you're doing and what your strategies are. What further hits home this theory I have is the Amazon Keepa data. Keepa keeps track of sales rank, price, number of sellers, all that good stuff. So I pulled the Keepa data off of Sony, Magnavox, and Samsung DVD VCR combo unit specific ones. I'll put the name in the, in the bottom of it below so you can see it as I talk about it. What we can see is pretty much the same story across all of these models. 
as the uh, number of sellers goes down, the price goes up with a gradual increase in sales rank. I think that means that there's more things being listed on Amazon. Not necessarily that these are becoming less popular in terms of quantity sold, although there might be a marginal decrease. This matters because I call these Amazon sellers professional sellers. I know that that's not totally accurate. There are pro sellers on eBay, but the reason I call them that is because Amazon has more barriers to entry. There's a gating process for these brands, and it's a bit more difficult than general. So if you're selling obsolete old media players on Amazon, chances are you do it for a larger portion of your income. You take it more seriously. So long story short, hobby sellers who sell on the markets with low barriers to entry are leaving the market and pro sellers who enter markets with higher barriers to entry are staying in the market, selling their items at a higher price and making more money overall, I would assume. I wanted to share this because it's kind of a corresponding video to a much longer, more in-depth post I have in the macro micro community. If you want to join that, it's 10 bucks a month. Uh, we're talking about what changes are occurring and how you can make money off that in the long term. The way I treat YouTube, YouTube is for like short-term gains, and then this macro micro community is for long-term, more sustainable businesses, uh, a community of entrepreneurs who like to work alone as I do. As you can see, I think this might be accurate, but I would love to hear your comments below with what you think is really going on, because who knows, maybe I missed some giant piece of info that changes the story. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.